Yo, 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 yo. Good, my audio is working. Good shit, good shit. Yeah, I haven't played in um, a while here. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's record this video. Hey guys, it's Saturday here. If you've watched any of my other videos, you've seen uh, the tricks and stuff that I do. I'm definitely not the craziest player out there, but some of you guys were asking for a tutorial and I said to get me to 200 subscribers and I'd show y'all how to do it and stuff like that. And now a few of them are pretty easy, but one of them might take you a while to do it. Some of them are hard to explain, but hopefully I'll make sense of it. So um, yeah, all right. Also, I don't really have a name for a lot of these. Some of them will probably just like, um, you know, I'll just probably just teach you how to do them. I don't really know the name for it, right? Okay, first things first, stopping the ball. How do I stop the ball? Well, if you don't know how to stop the ball on a computer, how I do it is I tap with both left and right at the exact same time. Stopping the ball is pretty important for learning my juggles and uh, dribbling, so it's pretty important that you learn how to stop the ball. And so, again, how I stop the ball is by tapping both left and right at the exact same time, lightly. If you do it for a long time and kind of hold the buttons, you'll end up side kicking, like so. Right, so if you know how to stop the ball, you know that right clicking makes the ball go backwards, left clicking makes the ball go forwards, and you know that aiming upwards makes the ball go upwards, then you should be able to do my combos. Alright, the first thing I want to teach you guys is how I dribble. It doesn't really look like dribbling, but I'm still going to teach y'all how to do it because y'all were asking how to do it, so... Um, it looks like this. So, um, I'm going to be teaching you guys this. So how I do it is half power backwards, half power upwards, stop the ball. When you're going backwards originally with the ball like this, you throw in a dash, like that dash that you just saw, right? So how you dash is left control. So half power backwards dash, but then instead of stopping the ball like I just did, you would do half power upwards while it's rolling like this. And then after it's gone into the air, you stop the ball by tapping both mouse buttons like I told you at the start of the video. So let me just show you that again. Half power backwards dash, half power upwards stop. Half power backwards dash, half power upwards stop. And then you can just do that over and over again. And then um, since you throw a hop in, you can get a curiosity in like that. Or instead of flicking it upwards like that, you could flick it backwards like that. And there's just like a lot of combos you can do with this. Get around the court pretty fast, it just looks cool. So yeah, that's how I do it. And let me just say it one more time. Half power backwards with a dash, half power upwards, stop. And I'm looking straight up when I'm doing it upwards, half power, and then I'm stopping by tapping both mouse buttons. So that's how I dribble, or one of the ways I dribble. And yeah, that's the first thing. So if you don't know how to um, do what the community calls an impossible, a yes boss, and curiosity I'll show you those right now so an impossible is basically a bicycle kick it's where the ball is mid-air and you full power right click the ball so like this that thing right there that I just did I'll get a better angle on the aftermath uh, basically, it looks like I do somewhat of a backflip and kick the ball midair. That's what an impossible is. And then a curiosity is like a two-step combo. It's you have to hop the ball like this, where it says hop, and then full power kick. I'll show that one more time because I messed up. Like that. You see where it says curiosity right there? And then a yes boss. You have to have the ball midair. And then full power sidekick. I'll show that one more time because I messed up. Seeing that right there? Yes, boss. Yeah, that's it. 
All right, the second thing I'm gonna teach you guys is how to do the juggling that I did in my last video, since y'all were asking. And I'm gonna try and break it down after I'm showing you what it looks like. So this is how you do it. It's pretty much just half power aiming up and holding S and throwing in the occasional dash to catch up with the ball. Um, when you first start doing the juggle, like when you first kick it up, the ball is a lot slower. It doesn't really have momentum yet. So you don't want, you don't really want to like, uh, here I'll say it, I'll say it properly. You don't really want to like hold S the entire time. You kind of want to like wait for the ball to fall a little bit before holding S because uh, the ball is a little bit slower at the start. But then you want to hold S the entire time after you get going and you want to throw a dash in to catch up with the ball. And I'll kind of show you what I mean because the ball gets faster as you keep going and there's almost like a limit to how far you can go, I'll show you. Yeah, so basically what I'm doing to break it down is I am aiming upwards, right clicking half power over and over again at a certain time while staying underneath the ball. And so the hardest part about this, in my opinion, is staying underneath the ball and at the same time switching my camera angle to aim upwards and then look for people aim upwards and then look for targets same sort of thing right like people or targets same deal and basically looking around to see where people are but also aiming up to juggle but at the same time staying underneath the ball so when you're first trying to do this you'll probably end up just like looking up almost like this but then like you can't really see where people are right can you see people like if i were on like a lobby like a public lobby would you be able to see people right now no but it didn't make it easier to do the trick probably because you don't need to flick your mouse but um yeah so flicking your mouse and staying underneath the ball at the same time can be difficult and i'll show you it one more time i say that you aim up half power over and over again but i don't really stay true to it because you can aim half power or a little bit less but yeah you'll get it done you'll get it done regardless of what you do if you like aim more than more than like uh half power then holding s will be a bit too fast the ball will kind of be a little bit slower like if you're aiming like kind of like this i mean like i guess you could do it it's just not how i do it so yeah i said one last time but i'll show y'all one more it's um half power holding s after the ball starts up like you can like hold s when you initially do it but then you'll be out of the reach of the ball like i'll show y'all like if yeah if you hold s too early the ball won't fall you you're gonna have to like hesitate at the start and then since the ball gets a lot of momentum like right around here like right around the fourth volley you kind of have to like dash and with that guys I've pretty much taught you guys everything that I know. I taught you all how to do the dribble that I do, the juggle that I do, and how to stop the ball, how to do an impossible, how to do uh, curiosity. I taught you all how to do a yes boss, which is actually one of the things I struggle with. There we are. Yeah, so with all those things, you guys should be able to make your own combos, make your own variants of dribbles, try your own like little like wall tricks you know y'all can y'all can like go far with this information so hopefully it's helpful yeah if you have any questions just you know comment on the video if you guys like the video then you guys can like it if you guys want to see more please subscribe and yeah again if you have any questions just ask in the comments